Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You went out that you went out with that, your radio? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Look at her fishing for subtlety. Alright. Going for Cottonwood. Oh, we're going right back down, huh? We're going off- oh yeah, we're going to that big tree we saw earlier. Just to make me feel silly for spending time there, huh? I wonder if we're gonna find out that they're the ones that actually messed with my tree, too. I mean, I mean messed with my, uh... My, my, uh, my window. That, that fire is not getting better. In fact, this whole place is drowning in the smoke of that fire. This is all great for your lungs. I was, I was gonna say maybe you shouldn't have that window open, but whatever. Where else is he gonna get air ventilation from, I guess? Not a lot of options around here. He doesn't exactly have air conditioning as far as I can tell. Alright. After that last one, I'm just worried we're gonna run into something surprising. Something's going to ambush me. All right, just gotta head south. Compass out for reference. Running through the forest all alone, losing my mind. It's funny how this game can become really unsettling really fast, even though it takes place during the daytime in a beautiful forest. Although the uh, much like the tornado from Life is the hurricane from Life is Strange, uh, the impending fire certainly gives you this sense that danger is getting closer and closer, even. Regardless of everything else, but just the establishment of something being ominous is enough already. I already have certain anxieties attached to the, the uh, forest, I think. Just to the general concept of its being alone and isolated from society. And how many things out here could be dangerous to you, and how easily you could just lose your way. And no one could ever hear you. So it, it's why it's such a susceptible location for all these... Uh, all these inevitable slasher stories. Flapjack fire. We had to go and name it. And now that name's gonna be reflected for the rest of the playthrough. Those were sounds. Well, this is cotton. We're heading towards cottonwood. Few things loading in here and there. The game does jitter every now and then for the loading. My com my computer can pretty much handle anything nowadays. It's probably just trying to load in chunks of the world here and there. Sprinting probably uh, using the run probably messes with that a little bit. Here's the big tree. We got a preview earlier. Let's see. That's the uh, that's the west ish. So the sun's setting right now. It's late. What are we gonna find down here? Is she gonna meet me down here? That'd be out of her way, because it's it's the opposite side of camp from where she starts, actually.
Keep waiting to spot something. I'm down here in Cottonwood Creek. That's it, right? I'm gonna feel real dumb if I went after the wrong, uh, sign. Oh. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. She has trouble with that, huh? I feel like we shouldn't have said uh, Cottonwood Creek out loud. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Oop. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, sneaky. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elks Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. Maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. I had to look up first because the sky was very orange. It's kind of purple. Eh, maybe she's not that real. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. I'm uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. All right, we had a cracking moment. I, I'm I'm happy that I could acknowledge the exact thought that I was having having earlier about like, is this maybe all not real? So, hey, I was thinking about it. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, well, here's that rope I was worried about. Let's see if someone chops it. Looking. No. That'd be a bit, that'd be a hell of a jump scare moment too. Turning around after getting off the rope. 
I'm just unsettled enough to be worried about that kind of stuff. Let's get up to that place. We should be able to chop it off now. Got a good old axe. Still no sign of people, ever. The loneliness is pretty complete. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Take this, axe. There we go. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Whoa! Ow! Really? Got annihilated by a bee. Fine. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, <laughs> kind of. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> YPD station personnel. If you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Concerning. I can't repeat this. We can't talk about this? Nothing? Alright. I feel like I should keep that hidden. I can't close it? I feel like I should close it. Oh, it's getting darker now. That's concerning. Yeah, welcome back to that golden hour we were talking about before. Alright. <laughs> they put up safety rails, but they need to jump across the middle. Slightly uh, schizophrenic there in nature. So here we are in the station. The center of everything. Flashlight doesn't serve much purpose at the moment. Getting creepy, creaky sounds, but that's just the forest, I'm sure. Right? Right? Oh, that's a creepy tower. Alright. And the sun's red. I was hoping that would happen. Uh, that, that thing would just measure wind. A few other different things, really. Not too crazy. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. <sighs> Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I and mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Creepy monitoring tower outside of line of sight. Although the, the contents don't seem so, so crazy. Can't see what that is, but that... The wind things aren't too nuts to me. Oh, what is that? Was it a moisture farm? Actually, no, it looks it just looks like a bunch of soil samples for the USGS. Like an, like an archaeological dig, separating off a bunch of chunks. Are there people in there right now? now they're doing something with the soil out here too, it's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? I mean, this seems normal. The equipment doesn't seem weird yet. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. I think I'm watching the sun go, yep, behind the hills in, re in real time. There goes the sun. It's getting very dark very fast down here. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. This is some weird stuff. A little bit. Is anyone in here? Looks like an empty cell. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? 
It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Heavy belt, lantern, bulletin board. A lot of notes. What are the graphs for? Could be all sorts of different thing, really. Does it say machine is busted? Machine still busted, yep. Conversion chart. Thermos, camp stove. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. I don't think that's actually a path I've ever taken, to be honest, if we're looking at those... the rope. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Frequent departure from Two Forks area, avoid avoidance behaviors, consult previous data, unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, disappropriate food intake. Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. I don't know if I should, uh, hold on to these things. I mean, I can't really put it back. Well, they're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Maybe this is all totally normal. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Like they ran out in a hurry while I was here? I can't clear it away. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. So what's the blinking thing at long last? What in the world? What do you do? Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. 
I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. All right. So things definitely got sufficiently weird around here. Let's actually take a look at those notes real quick. Tab. There we go. Should be right at the bottom. Subject, Delilah. Age 43. Status, they're, they're here for 10 weeks. Reliable, considering alcohol alcoholism. Observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Oh. So her own history, her, her own thoughts about her, about her boyfriend could be wrong there. Never married, no kids. Rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite long time partner named Javier. So apparently she keeps cheating on him or something. She's not very susceptible to manipulation. Supervisor, supervisor sign off, e.g. I'm four years younger, also here for 10 weeks. Comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path. Prone to anger, passive, guilty, forthright and guarded. Are they circled? Where's the observational traits? Guilt ridden. It says guilt ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self and reliable. Instead, four completely different traits are on this screen. Comprehensive explorer slash keeps to path. Prone to anger slash passive. Guilty. Forthright slash guarded. I think it's supposed to pick one or the other based on what I do. Like comprehensive explorer based on how much I was running around all game, perhaps? Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be uh, scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Subjects must be aware of test. Subject may be aware of tests. Uh, suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Very susceptible to manipulation. Those kinds of notes weren't on her, no. No, they weren't. Both signed off by EG. Things got sufficiently weird right there, didn't they? Okay. Worrying. There's a save function. Let's just go ahead and click that real quick. Oh, yeah, it's been auto-saving this whole time. Just worried in case it crashes or something this late in the game. So we gotta try to make our way back. It says sound. Is that the river? Or is that a car? I'm just waiting for something to happen on the way back. They have a tendency to not let you actually run back to anything. And something triggers. Here we go. Oh no! That's exactly what I was worried about. Well, we're not- shit. We're not getting back in there. Oh shit. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me! <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Not great news for anybody. All right, no big deal. We're just being monitored and cooked. What did I write there? Who is listening to us? Use end to use the wave receiver. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Oh, yeah. You know what I just picked up? Alcoholism? A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! 
I am getting drunk. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harshing my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. We just turned off the radio. That doesn't happen much. Oh, she just went and became unreliable, didn't she? Where we headed this is roughly the same path. He likes to drop... He puts away the wave receiver every time I look at the map. Somewhere around here. It's getting louder. Uh-oh. Alright, this is how you get killed by the alien, just so everyone knows. It's a trap. This is a trap. They're gonna, they're gonna freaking tase me. Huh. Key. We need to go. We need to go. Stop. 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 We need to go. We're about to, we're about to get tranked. We're about to get tranked and tagged. That's what that. That's what this thing's for. Off the, off with the flashlight. D, I I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Go back to the lookout? Why would, why, why would we want to go back? That seems like a bad idea. There's a person in my tower. Alright. Oh, they used the alarm to lure me away so they knew how to, when to get in my tower when I'm not there, didn't they? What's the freaky t There's so many weird things going on here. This is sufficiently suspenseful. You did it, game. Congratulations. And they're gone? I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Uh oh. And then things got weird. You son of a bitch, they're framing us. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? We've had better days.